Now, your first warning forecast with meteorologist Jason Katarina. Welcome back to the Weather Center with meteorologist Jason Caterino, who's got some, uh, I don't know if I should call it bad news. It's not, right? I mean, it's... Well, it's kind of, it's, we, from my standpoint, it's very interesting. I've got some cool stuff to show you. You just asked me about the temperatures uh, up in Canada. I want to know. And, uh, yeah, I've got a great graphic to show you <laughs> just to say this this will be really cool so let's look through the national grid first warning cam boy does that look like uh the apocalypse is coming to downtown or what this is just uh, you know, know it's really not even raining that hard in spots right now but uh some of those dark clouds out there look very very ominous i suppose it's still spring so this is what we get in the spring you get those swings yeah, you rain. Get the big swings yeah. the rain yeah that's what's going on we've had a very dry may and a very summer like may as a matter of fact but still almost 70 degrees in Albany, and you'll notice the wind still out of the south so that front has not made its way on by yet uh, looking into Schenectady here you can see the wind look at this into the north uh, and look at the temperature it's already plummeted back down into the 50s in Schenectady so that front is through Schenectady at this point and it's made its way through uh, Saratoga as well winds out of the northeast there and temperatures back down into the 50s that front very, very nearby. So I just showed this graphic. This is the 24 hour temperature change and you can certainly see a big difference. Look, already starting to drop though in Albany. Temperatures uh, nine degrees cooler than they were yesterday at this point in Albany and obviously bigger changes off to our north and west. Here's what Dan was asking about. What are the temperatures like up in Canada if it's this cool here? Well, he's right. Temperatures are in the 30s just to our north, right? Wait, 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 watch this. This is even cooler. Parts of Alaska are warmer than it is here right now. Uh, so some crazy weather around uh, as we head on through the rest of the day today. Right now, uh, 66 in Latham. Look at Albany dropping quickly down to 61. So it's 61 at the airport uh, in Colony. But at the National Grid camera over in East Greenbush, it's still almost 70 degrees. That front is quickly making its way down through. Still near 70 degrees out in North Adams. They're still on the warm side of the front. But here's the change. 55 Malta, Boston Springs, Saratoga. Uh, temperature is quickly changing there. 53 up in Glens Falls. 50 degrees up in Lake George and across the Northeast. Obviously, those big changes brewing for us. And here you go. It's in the 40s as we head up to the St. Lawrence. Valley, Watertown, Messina, even Buffalo out in western New York at 48 degrees and 52 uh, in Syracuse. But look at the city, 72, 69 in Hartford, still 68 in Boston, 71 in Portland. But those changes are coming as we go through the rest of the day. So we've got some showers around. We saw those very dark clouds approaching Albany off to the north a bit. Uh, some of that rain shower action making its way in our direction and there is plenty of rain off to our west yet to come through as we go through uh, not only later today but tomorrow and even into Tuesday. Look at this. Here we go as we head on toward noontime. Some showers making their way on through. That'll be the front going by and then watch. We'll have a bit of a lull as that front kind of locks up down to our south. Another wave of low pressure rides along that thing. We get another round of rain as we head on into the evening. Some of that rain could come down quite heavily. Maybe a rumble of thunder, not all that likely, but certainly possible for us. And then we've got rain as we head on into tomorrow morning. Your morning commute's going to be uh, not that great. A bit of a lull in the afternoon once again. Then we head into the evening. Another wave rides along that front, brings us some more moderate to heavy rainfall. That continues overnight into Tuesday morning. And then we'll have uh, some showers around Tuesday before it starts to dry out. So periods of rain, temperatures falling into the 50s. Uh, we started the day in the 70s, and uh, we are dropping quickly. Near 50 as we go through the overnight with periods of rain. Some of it could be kind of heavy. As we head into tomorrow, temperature is not really going to go anywhere for the first day of June and the first day of meteorological summer. It will be in the mid and upper 50s, a damp and raw feeling day, and then a nice warm up as the week continues. We start to dry out. You look like you're having fun over there. You know, <laughs> uh, meteorologically, this is a cool day. You know, that, well. No pun intended, I guess. Maybe pun intended, yeah, yeah. Or maybe pun pun intended, intended I yeah. guess. Uh, but yeah, it's a very interesting uh, weather day. So yeah, I'm having fun with this. I'm sure you are. We'll All see right. how cold it is in 45 minutes. When yeah, the we're going to check ends. back with you. Yeah, yeah, it'd be of cool course. to track it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you very much, Jason. Ashley Miller's here, Big Board Sports. You have Friar Offers Run for Women. We were both there yesterday. We were. A fantastic event every single year. We're going to get you updated on where some of our local runners finished. Plus, we're going to go around the major leagues. The New York Yankees have lost 
12 of their last 16 games, but it's Carlos Beltran to the rescue in Oakland. Highlights next on Big Board Sports.